Today is December 12th, 2023. 120 years ago, there was an article in the Plain Dealer, a special, about the steamship Edwin F. Holmes. I'm going to read the article and then talk a couple of things afterwards. But if the ship in its entirety survives to this date, it would be 120 years old. So the piece before you on screen is right now 120 years old since it was launched in Lorain, Ohio, an American shipbuilding company. Title starts. The steamer A. F. Holmes launched. This Edwin Francis Holmes, the man. Special to the plane dealer, Lorain, Lorain, Ohio. December 12th. At noon today, the freight steamer Edwin F. Holmes, named in honor of President of Bransford Transit Company, was launched at the local yards of the American Shipbuilding Company. Miss Arla Elizabeth Hoggood, she was age 10 at that time, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. William A. Hoggood. Mr. Hoggood was 40, his wife was 35. Of Cleveland, christened the new boat as she slid from the ways. In presence of a special party from Cleveland and at the gathering of, or, of the Lorraine people. The launch, the launching party arrived on a special car over the Lakeshore Electric Railway from Cleveland. In the party were Colonel Edwin Francis Holmes and Mr. Carlton Holmes of Salt Lake City. Arthur B. Hoggood Mr. and Mrs. W. A. Hoggood and Arthur C. Hoggood, E. T. Beers, Mr. and Mrs. F. W. Seltz, and sister, Mr. and Mrs. Hurd, Mr. and Mrs. L. H. Gould, Miss Ella Parmeter, Joseph Hayes, Joseph Kidd, Robert Logan, Robert Wallace, Captain W. W. Smith, and Captain Alex Beggs. The homes is building for the Bransford Transit Company and will be ready for service with the opening of the navigation next season. She is 440 feet overall, 420 feet keel, 50 feet beam, and 28 feet deep. She will have a triple expansion engines, cylinders 22, 35, and 58 inches with a 40 inch stroke. The steam will be furnished by two Scotch boilers 13 and a half feet in diameter and 11 feet 2 inches long to be fitted with the Ellis and Eves draft. The homes will be carry 7,000 tons of ore or 7,500 tons of coal on 18 feet. Captain James Owen, who sailed the steamer Bransford of the same fleet during the past season, will be master of the new boat. The homes will be managed in office of W.A. and Arthur H. Hoggood. They will operate the steel steamers Edwin F. Holmes, Bransford, J.M. Jinx, and H.B. Nye, and the wooden steamer Iosco and barge Al Jeanette. So right here what we have is a small, tiny section of bow of uh, the J.B. Ford. So at noon in Lorain, Ohio, December 12, 1903, Miss Arla Elizabeth Hoggood christened the vessel. Hoggood newly turned 10. She was born, her birthday was on December 2nd. So December 12th, 10 days later after her birthday, she was able to christen this uh, the ship in name in honor of Edwin F. Holmes. Edwin F. Holmes, he was a lumber person, billionaire, millionaire back in the time. 
and he later married he and his father traveled out west to Utah, Salt Lake City, and eventually he would marry the Silver Queen, Suzanne. Susan has a memoir and she lived up until 1942 and she traveled the world. Um, Edwin F. Holmes uh, passed away I would I want to say 1935 the link is below and Arla she remarried a couple times and she lived up to age 78 and she's buried in California her uh, link will be in the description as well but this is what remains of the bow section of the Edwin F. Holmes. Later in 1916, Edwin F. Holmes would become a Pittsburgh steel, steam, steel steamship company vessel and would be named in honor of the transportation manager, E.C. Collins. E.C. Collins would last in this Pittsburgh steamship fleet up until 1944.